Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sean. <laughs> and I'm going to be checking out Espa's newest comeback for girls. Let's jump straight into it. I see you, Mama. Whoa, 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 wow. Okay. Straight into like just a whole bunch of, I'm guessing this is the Vicia. Vicia? Not Via Guanya. Holy mother. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why this is throwing me off so much. Oh my god, they look so badass. Oh, I love Nini's hair like that. She looks so damn gorgeous. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that was so smooth. <laughs> that reveal of their eyes and the back to them, that was so smooth. Let's go into with the sword. The sword? The, um... Katana, yes. Oh, that transition. That was so clean. That was so cool. Okay, for real, Karin looks so cute with the bangs. Oh, I actually thought that was going to go along one more time. Okay, so basically, yeah, they're trying to get to <coughs> the Black Mamba that's being controlled by that. Freaky woman that I remember we saw in Black Mamba, the MV. So he's trying to take down, you know, the source of uh, the corruption. Ning, ning, girl, come on. Why do you keep trying to destroy me? Oh my god, her hairstyle. Oh, the fits. Yo, come on, damn. Let me process this. Oh my god. Winter is literally the perfect mix of cute and badass and I love it. <laughs> Let's go! We, I love me some badass fight choreo scenes, especially with Karina. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, this styling in this scene right here is for sure my favorite. Almost a little shot, but still. I like it.
Okay. <laughs> I don't mean this in a bad way, but for once, SM, do a beat switch up smoothly. <laughs> you can casually slide into it without being thrown off. That was way more smooth. That was so much easier to like take in. I love me some Ning Ning vocal runs. Gets me every time. It is why she's my bias. Just also this frame of Giselle is gorgeous. Crap, winter was going off back there in that high note. Damn. Wow. Game over. Gas get destroyed, bitch. Okay, so that was basically that was basically an action movie condensed into <clears throat> just under five minutes. For sure. For sure. So does this mean they've finally destroyed Black Mamba and can now restore the connection between Kwangya, the real world? Through sync, connect with the eyes again, and quote unquote restore the order. That would make sense. You know, the whole mission was to get to the one controlling the Black Mamba and destroy it, which they did. We'll see. Alrighty, so holy crap, that MV was a lot. <laughs> so badass. I love how badass it was. I love the styling, I love the set designs. I love how interesting it was, and it literally did take you on a journey. It was clear what the journey was, which I really appreciate. Really, really, really hoping that the lyrics won't be confusing because I've said this every single time that I've checked out a Esper title track. The lyrics for the title tracks are always really confusing and hard to understand, mostly because of how ingrained in the lore it is and the way that it's worded and translated. It can get very confusing very easily. So I'm really hoping that when I look at the lyrics, that wouldn't be the case. So let's jump into that, girls. Okay, that rap break was so smooth and I love how they added the guitar there to emphasize the intensity of it. I love that transition right there. <laughs> Share body temperatures? Okay, I get what that's trying to say in the context, but on its own, it's like, that is kind of random. The value of goodwill, yes, let's go. Mmm, isolate you and me so we can't see ahead. That is exactly what happened in the episode two, Next Level. The um, main story part of it. To essentially lead into this MV. Yeah, that is exactly what was happening in that video. They were being divided and they were being attacked for both what they were representing as their greatest fears, but also the commentary on... <clears throat> or is the idol industry but also just people in general so mm. okay i will say so far these lyrics are mostly easy to understand and connect well which i'm really happy about oh god no 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 <laughs> recall i can't remember if that's been mentioned already what that's meant to mean but another phrase we have to know you think they'd be used to a million like law based terms what was you know, me paying attention so closely to the hype universe. But, you know, Esper's law is like a whole thing. So for now, I'll just leave it as it is in the lyrics. But hopefully, let me know down below if there is a more like elaborated uh, moment on what recall is meant to mean or refer to. Because it probably has been mentioned. I'm just not recalling it. That's what I should say. <laughs> that punch in the elevator door. I don't know why that. That's funny. 
Oh yeah, that's another one that I actually forgot. Flat. That's so much terminology. I think when I said sink, I was meaning flat. And flat is the place where the eye and Espa, well, the eye and everybody connect. A sink is the connection. Yeah. <laughs> My god, that bridge is... Was that the bridge or was that the second verse? I actually cannot remember if that was the second verse or if that was the bridge. Either way, that section was loaded with just lore. Pure lore. Now, seriously, I really appreciate how smooth that, like, more intense production instrumental was. Because normally, in S SM Song of the Tile Tracks, when they do that, it's very abrupt, it's very harsh. You get very taken off guard, and then it takes a moment to catch up. But that was so smooth, and so much easier to, like, wrap a head around. Oh, God. Damn winter in the back. It's pushed more to the back as you know high notes usually are, but you can still hear it so clearly. Ooh. Damn girl. Alrighty, so if you kind of take away the law for a moment, it's definitely just like a very female empowering song, I feel. Basically saying, you know, as long as we stick together, we can overcome any challenges in life. We can be better people as long as we believe in each other and stay strong together. So in that sense, very easy to understand. And essentially, the lyrics, as far as the law goes, was talking about let's stay together, let's not be divided by our insecurities, let's overcome them, let's stay together, we're stronger together, and we will take down the Black Mamba. We will reconnect the eyes with sink in the flat. <laughs> and restore what is meant to be in this world. I am honestly surprised that for the first time in a Espatado track, I could so easily actually fully understand both sides of the concept as far as like generally or within the law. I really appreciate that because it was, it's annoying to look at lyrics and like barely understand what the song is telling you. This one was way much easier, which I'm very appreciative of. That said, this song is very badass. I love the addition of the guitar and where they put the guitar. And again, for the last time, I shall say that. The way they added in that super intense production sound. I love how they added that in way more smoothly. Yeah, this song is very just action driven. It's Feels like you're listening to an action movie soundtrack. The MV is very like action movie, short film esque. It looked badass, and I thoroughly enjoyed and loved every single second of this. Alrighty, such a wrap up. My reaction to Espo MV for girls. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, hit like button below. Comment below what you thought of the MV, what you thought of the song, what you thought of the concept. And if there's anything else you want to comment below, go right ahead. Uh, don't forget to check out my Patreon, which is linked on the screen or down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on and set it to all. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Annyeong!